Hi to all of you. Thanks for having me in this very important event, the ETAP Digital Innovation Conference. Uh, wherever you are in the world, I hope you are doing very well. And I'm um, very, very pleased to be with you today to share our vision at Schneider Electric of Electricity 4.0. My name is Olivier Blum. I'm the Executive Vice President in charge of the energy management business for Schneider Electric worldwide. So what I like really to start to do um, with you today is really to step back a little bit and look at where we are. I I'm sure all of you are very aware that climate change is a defining issue of our time. We all know that it's a topic which is very high on our agenda since many years, but we definitely see an acceleration and I think it's very important that we all understand where we stand today. First of all, I'm sure you know those data, but 80% of um, the problem come from the energy issue. So 80% of the CO2 emission come from the production and consumption of energy, which are still very, very inefficient today and based on current fossil fuel. And last but not the least, and I will come back later, we see clearly that while it's a topic that has grown in the past year, we've seen really an acceleration in the past two years, a combination of probably macroeconomic factors, also probably related uh, to COVID, but which make the topic more than ever super important for all our organization in our business. So, you know, probably this type of chart, but that give you the evolution of the CO2 emission in the, from the, the past century to where we are today. We are today roughly at 40 gigaton of CO2 emission per year. And when we speak about the Paris Agreement and the objective to be back to the 1.5 degree trajectory, you see it's a drastic change. And that's why we believe at Schneider we are at a critical juncture and we need to reverse the trend. So what does it mean basically when we speak about net zero? Net zero means that companies need to become net zero by 2050. The new net zero define 90% of zero emission and 10% tolerated on offset. But to achieve that objective by 2050, it means that we need already to change the trend and to be in line with the 1.5 tra trajectory by 2030, which is already a reduction of 45% versus the level of emission we used to have in 2010. So you see, it's a drastic shift that we have all to achieve together. At Schneider Electric, We've been looking at this topic of climate transition for the past 15 years, and we have our own global research team. We have our own research uh, institute at Schneider Electric, which has worked, and we have updated all our scenario last year that we call the back to 2050 scenario, where basically in order to be back to this 1.5 trajectory, we need to save three times more in terms of emission by 2030. And uh, uh, which is equivalent to 10, 15 gigaton per year. But more important, based on our own scenario, we believe the 1.5 degree trajectory is still within reach. But there are three key transformations which are required on the route to net zero by 2050. It's one energy supply decarbonization that comes for 45% of uh, the saving, two process electrification for 30%, and three, demand optimization, which is a combination of energy efficiency and circularity for 25%. So again, as you can see, very, very demanding target by 2050, which require a drastic change in the trend, but some hope somewhere to be back to this trajectory if we work hard, all of us, on those three dimensions. And of course, you know where I'm, go I'm going. You can understand that it's probably a place where all of us has to do more and we can contribute thanks to our business. So for us at Schneider Electric, we have been a very strong promoter of that equation for the future because we believe that the solution will come from more electric, more digital. More electric for decarbonization because we know that electric is more efficient and this is the most efficient energy today and the best vector for decarbonization and more digital for efficiency because we believe digital help to amplify IoT objects to become more efficient on one side, but digital also help us to become much more efficient and optimize from plant to plant. And if we combine those two dimensions, we strongly believe that we create 
together a more sustainable world, which is smarter and greener for the future. And again, in line with the objective of decarbonization that we have everywhere in the world. The good news is companies are working on it and have taken commitment. And even if the Paris Agreement was declared in 2015, it was very, very, very slow for organizations to embark in that decarbonization journey. But we have seen an acceleration in the past years with times two every year. And while we speak, we have already 2,500 companies in the world who have either set up for the first time their science best target, which is a great news because they are working on it, and another 50% who have set target but have also committed to be in line with a 1.5 trajectory, which means that they are SBTI certified. So that clearly shows how important is the topic for the largest company in the world. And last but not the least, it's only 20% of the global company who are already in that journey, which means that it tells you how many more should engage in the coming years. And as you can see on the right hand side, by geography, Europe is still leading. But I can tell you, Asia have embraced uh, in the journey. And of course, US have seen a huge acceleration in the past year. So I think those weights that you see on the right hand side should be rebalanced in the coming years because Asia and NAM are accelerating big time in those uh, commitments. So what we have seen at Schneider Electric, because we have been engaged with many, many customers at multiple fronts, and we are also helping a large number of companies to do strategy. We see that only 7% of the company in the past cycle have delivered results. And of course, if you set up those ambition to become net zero and you don't deliver, no way we can be back to the 1.5 trajectory. So the roadblock of the past are very simple. People have been struggling to navigate through a very complex reporting and assessment framework. Difficult for them to connect the physical and digital world. What I mean by that, they have a large number of installations everywhere in the world, depending on their type of building, factories, data center, and so on and so forth. But they are not able to control that infrastructure and to make sure that they can leverage digital really to act and reduce CO2 emission, and therefore struggling to track data in a very consistent manner. They are struggling also to engage their ecosystem, and I'm not going to go deep today on that one, but when you start your decarbonization journey, we all start by the scope one and two and realize very quickly that the biggest part of our CO2 emissions are on the scope three, and in particular, how you can engage your supplier. And last but not the least, we've seen a large number in the com of companies in the past year launching one program, a one shot, while the topic of decarbonization has to be dealt like a strategic topic today. And it's very, very important to structure program on a long term basis that ensure your company to go through those kind of decarbonization. So based on that, at Schneider, since 15 years, we have uh, created a portfolio to deliver one mission, which is to be your digital partner for sustainability and efficiency. We call that Life is on at Schneider, which means that since 15 years, we are really obsessed by one thing, how we can create a portfolio that can deliver really the objective I've just presented before and help our company, help our customer to go through this decarbonization journey. And everything that I'm going to share with you, we apply it for Schneider. And that's why Schneider Electric last year um, was uh, elected the most sustainable company in the world. It's because we have this combination of trying to be role model in our own operation for our own company, but also being part of the solution for our customer. Now, what our research is telling us? We've been working with a very large number of companies in the world. I was telling you that 20% of the global company uh, are working on their decarbonization journey. We have been engaged with close than 50% of those companies. And we see basically that the best company in the world, they follow three-step approach. And that's what we recommend at Schneider Electric. And that's the way we have built our own portfolio, is to make sure, one, we can support customers on the strategic front, by helping them for those in particular that get started to measure their baseline, to create a roadmap, to structure a program, to communicate. And that's why we have created at Schneider dedicated consulting teams, which are fully agnostic to support our customer. Point number two, which is super critical, and I said it already, the digitization is super important. We have seen a large number of companies in the past engaging in those decarbonization journey, but they were struggling at one point of time to have one single source of truth 
regarding their data. And that's why Schneider Electric has invested so much in the past year, either organically or through acquisition or partnership to enlarge our portfolio. And today we are very, very proud to have a big part of our portfolio, which is focused on that digitization. And of course, today we are in the ETAP conference. You understand more and more the connection, why ETAP is so important in the portfolio of Schneider. And last but not the least, a big part of our solution at the last step of the process, which is executing your roadmap, thanks to electrification of operation. So more electrification of processes, as I said it before, that count for 30% of the solution, reducing energy use, so more programs around energy efficiency and circularity, more renewable, therefore replacing the energy source, and you've seen it's a big contributor for the decarbonation, and of course, building more and more programs to engage a value chain. So when you go through this step one, two, and three, we believe this is a recipe for success for companies to go through their decarbonation journey. And for us, it's very important to understand that as a company strategic, strategically, we are building a portfolio to help our customer at the different stage. So we are extremely pleased and very proud to partner with ETAP in the, this journey. I think you understand more and more now why ETAP was very, very important to Schneider and why Schneider Electric would like really to help ETAP in their development, because we strongly believe that ETAP accelerate the digitization of power and more electrical, more digitization is the best source for more decarbonization in the world. We believe ETAP integrate the power life cycle for efficiency. And it's very important that historically, we used to have company working at the design stage company working more at the operate and maintain stage. And China was probably a bit more on the operate maintain. But the only way, again, to deliver that decarbonation strategy is to go through the entire life cycle from design to, up to the level of operation and maintain. And last but not the least, it's super important that we increase the reliability, the flexibility, and we can support our customer everywhere they are in the world and in all the critical segment that uh, we, we are. And talking about the life cycle, what I wanted to show to you a little bit more in a visual manner, we Schneider Electric 15 years ago come from a business which has more around connected products. I would say not connected at that time, but we continue to have a very big part of our portfolio, which is around hardware that we make connectable by design. We have created the eco-structure domain, call it the eco-structure platform that help basically to connect the physical world to the digital world, thanks to the combination of the edge control in different segments. And now what we are doing with all the software business of Schneider Electric is to make sure that we can support our customer from the design stage to build, then operate and maintain, so to the complete life cycle and in different domains, which are more process oriented or more power uh, uh, oriented. And you see clearly that ETAP is contributing to this full life cycle because we believe that the digitization of the entire life cycle is the best way in the future to create that efficiency we need to decarbonize really our company and our customer at the end. So just to tell you to finish a little bit more about Schneider, we are a very large company, 30 billion everywhere in the world with a very strong presence historically in the new economy. And we want at Schneider Electric really to bring to ETAP the, this global infrastructure, this global setup with all our commercial organization, execution team everywhere in the world. So we believe Schneider Electric can help ETAP to increase even more their presence everywhere in the world. But what is very, very important for me is that we protect what ETAPS uh, uh, has created, their legacy, their innovation capability. And we are here really to help Tanuj and the entire team of uh, ETAP to amplify their capabilities everywhere in the world in our four key markets, which are building data center, infrastructure, and industry. So together with ETAP, we want to accelerate the digital transformation of power. I'm very, very pleased to tell you that we have already a, a couple of great success uh, from the left to the right, uh, working, for instance, uh, with Northeastern University, where we have been able to delay, deliver an ETAP-based electrical digital twin. 
And we strongly believe that, again, this concept of digital green will be more and more uh, important in the future. Uh, collaboration uh, on the design uh, platform leading the British Research Institute. And last but not the least, and that's one I wanted really to insist on, spending more and more time together on helping design firms uh, to have a, a unique model when it comes to low voltage, medium voltage, and high voltage design, thanks to the combination of the capabilities of ETAP and Schneider Electric. So, to conclude, you uh, can count on our commitment at Schneider Electric definitely to create electricity 4.0, so which is the actual acceleration of electric and digital for sustainability, therefore for decarbonization. We believe that's the fastest route to a zero carbon future, and we are at Schneider Electric are very committed to make the world more sustainable, more decarbonized, and ETAP is an outstanding solution with outstanding innovation to make it happen. So you can count on us, and of course, from all our ETAP teams everywhere in the world to partner with you to achieve this objective in the future. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your attention and hope to see you very, very soon.